and AACP of California and Hawaii doubled down today on a local chapter's call to declare a state of emergency over violence in Oakland. KTVU's Bailey O'Carroll spoke to people in the community about whether they think a state of emergency is necessary. It's getting worse and worse, you know? Violence in Oakland has gotten so bad that the NAACP is asking the city to declare a state of emergency. Just days ago, the Oakland chapter of the organization wrote a letter to the city saying in part, quote, Failed leadership, including the movement to defund the police, our district attorney's unwillingness to charge and prosecute people who murder and commit life-threatening serious crimes, and the proliferation of anti-police rhetoric have created a heyday for Oakland criminals. Today, the chapter that oversees the entire state of California doubled down on that message, writing in part, our community members are in danger and elected officials are turning their heads away. They went on to say, we're calling on the mayor to step up and work with the Oakland branch to address this critical issue and call for a state of emergency. I reached out to the NAACP for clarification about what they would want to come from the declaration of an emergency, but they said they were unable to answer at this time. That's something that Oakland City Council member Dan Kolb says makes things all the more difficult. Just pointing out the problem. I think we all know there's a problem. No one's uh, denying that. If there's some specificity about please do this or do that, then I can, I can react to that. Today I visited the site of the latest shooting in downtown Oakland to ask Oaklanders if they thought declaring a state of emergency would make a difference. Each person I approached happened to be a victim of violence at least once before. But the reviews were mixed. I'm a victim over like five times in five years. Umar Ibrahim said he believes something needs to be done, even if it means declaring a state of emergency. Others didn't agree. I think symbolism is super important, especially in this day and age of social media and everybody wanting to like see something that's like big and drastic in a headline. So my question would be what would a state of emergency really mean on the ground? And could that possibly actually like, you know, further harm the narrative around Oakland. Councilmember Kolb told us that city council officials are working to fight crime by adding new police academies, by hiring additional 911 operators and working to retain those operators and also approving overtime for other law enforcement officers. In the newsroom, I'm Bailey O'Carroll, KTVU, Box 2 News.